Hey guys, welcome to the Bloxcast. I'm here today to give a in-depth tutorial on how to actually download and install Ultimate Arena. Um, I know a couple people have been having some issues, so this video is for you. Um, so first you're going to want to find the Ultimate Arena plugin, obviously, from the list. The most updated version right now is 1.2.3 R1. Um, and then I'll put a link in the description to it but you want to go here and click the download plugin button uh, pretty self-explanatory and it's going to take you to this uh, this site here host a net or whatever it is and you just want to click this download button here um, after it gets up here you want to just save your file wherever you save your file to and then from your downloads you want to take your ultimate arena file go into your server and open up your plugins and then drag and drop it into here and what it is is it's going to be your ultimate arena zip file here so once that's in you just want to right click it and then extract the files to this location and once they're extracted as you'll see in just a second you can get rid of this uh, .zip file and then now you have both um, the .jar file as is here I know it says WinRAR that's just because of the program I have it associates automatically and then you have an ultimate arena uh, folder here so just leave them both in the plugins thing and then here are your config files for uh, your arenas so if you go into one of these with either notepad or notepad plus you can change how long the games max time is um, you can change the lobby time, so how long you wait until you actually play the game, um, what the max amount of deaths you can have before the game ends or until the team loses. Um, you can allow friendly fire basically, um, or team killing as he has it here. And then you can change what the rewards are. Um, this is entity ID followed by how many they will receive. Um, and all of them are slightly different, but they're all pretty self-explanatory, so you can go ahead and look into those. Uh, your arenas folder has all arenas that have actually been created in here so you probably don't ever need to really go in there and then for your classes you can change these actually so they're just file types and you can open them with um, notepad or notepad plus plus and you can change what actually is part of it so you can change what um, armor they have and you can change the tools that they actually use and you can also change the uh, file name so if you don't want it to be called archer anymore and you want this to be your soldier class you could now name it soldier and then when you're in game you just put the class name on the top line exact same spelling and everything of your sign and then when they click on it that's when they'll be able to choose their classes alright so I hope this helped you guys um, if you're having any more issues the only thing I could suggest is try removing all other plugins except for Ultimate Arena and see if possibly it's a plugin conflict and then just slowly add them back in until you find that issue again and find out which plugin conflicts with it and see if it's worth removing. Um, and that's the best advice I can give to you. Hopefully that helps. So thanks for watching and subscribe if you liked it.